Joined now by Cheryl Ann Gengel, of course, the mother of Brittany and one of the founders of the Be Like Brit Foundation. Thanks so much for being here and taking time to talk with us. I'm wondering, you know, in the documentaries we've seen, so much of the accomplishments you've made and the work that you've done, the people you've touched is laid out. Do you ever get a chance to sort of step back and appreciate all that you've done? Well, to say that we've done it all by ourselves um, wouldn't be accurate. Just I look at it and just say how grateful and how blessed we are that these thousands of people have helped to make Britney's last wish come true. And that's how I really look at it. Brit's dad is just phenomenal and has really spearheaded the entire project. But we are blessed for the people that have helped us on this journey. You've got a 39-page, basically, mission statement, Guiding Principles. Tell yes. me a little bit about what that is. So what happened when Len was in Haiti building Brit's home, people would show up every day wanting to give us their children, not because they didn't love them, because they did, because they knew that in this home, people were gonna, they were going to be fed every day, mm. have the opportunity to go to school, have a bed to sleep in. And so we had to decide who was going to live inside of Brit's home, what was going to happen inside the home. And we had to make some really tough decisions. And so the guiding principles we came up with, and it was a 39-page document, that we would take children between the ages of three and nine, three to eight years old, but if they had brothers or sisters, older or younger, we brought them in so we didn't break up any families. And so we actually have 19 families inside of Brit's home. And we decided you know, on their schooling, religion, and everything to the best that we could and realizing that they're Haitian children. They're not American children. We're not trying to make them American children. And so that was really one of our first, everything that we decide at Be Like Brit is a reminder of who they are. And tell me about missionaries a little <laughs> bit. It's a whole other aspect of the work you're doing. Missionaries, we joke about it because it was all about Brit while she was alive, and it's still all about <laughs> Brit all these years later. But Missionaries is our service program that we've had actually 1,800 people come down to Haiti on a service trip with us. And when they come down, they build a home for a family in our community. And to date, we've built 145 homes, mm. and we want to continue to do that. So the Missionary program is an amazing experience for us, for uh, the people that come down, and really just helps the community in Grand Guave, which we're a part of. Such a big part of what you're doing, and you touched on it, is the education. But this is an opportunity for them in their future, whether it be in Haiti or elsewhere around the world. For our children, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Education, we feel, is going to open all kinds of doors for our children. We have Brits Academy that we expanded this year to 43 children, and they really, um, it's the agile mindset. They're uh, hands-on learning. They're going on field trips and really learning the in all different kinds of ways versus just sitting in a classroom. Well, you have done uh, tremendous work in, uh, in her name and in her honor. It's an honor to be able to share some of that with our viewers and continued success uh, there and elsewhere. Well, I appreciate it and thank you very much for having us and, and sharing our story in Haiti. All right, Cheryl Ann, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you again to Cheryl Ann Gangle for joining us in the studio tonight. Another special thanks to the team that produced Heartache and Hope in Haiti, the Brittany Gangle story. Watch the full documentary on our website. Also information there on Be Like Brett. Good night, everybody.